What's up ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. This is Blake Stallings with Real Talk Power Sports. I just got back from work. It's starting to get a little dark outside, but I'm back home and uh, I wanted to talk about some of these units here from CF Moto. Uh, we have a 2018 Seaforce 500. You've seen it on the channel. If you haven't seen this one in action, you need to check it out. But also this Saturday, <laughs> This Saturday, Mudslingers, I will be personally racing this Seaforce 500 in the Bounty Race event at Mudslingers. So you'll get to see that. And this is the event that Justin, the creator, will be down here at our house, right here. And uh, he's coming down for the weekend. We're going to shoot some awesome videos together. Can't wait to meet him in person. Great guy. We're going to get to see his 950, but uh, anyways, super excited about that. But look, we got a 2018 Seaforce 500. Let's talk about reliability of CF Moto. Everybody loves the price. They love the way they look. They love the price that they come in at versus the competition. And we have been showing the performance of these machines over time. And we've been showing you how to take care of them. And CF Moto, without doubt, is growing but still the question lies, what about reliability? So we have a 2018 right here. We've been running it, it's on 30 inch Zillas and uh, we have a high lifter lift kit on it as well as a clutch kit. And I personally snorkeled this machine. And, uh, but anyways, that's 2018. Here we have a 2020 Seaforce 500 and uh this it's bone stock other than a little bit of a clutch modification and we have my wife's 2021 seaforce 800 and of course i know that this has kind of been hogging up the channel lately the u-force 1000 and boy is she looking good we're not done with her yet but look it's I'm finally going to get to really test it out this uh this weekend at mud slingers at a mud park uh, we'll really get to see how it does out at the atv and side side park but uh really as far as reliability goes of course we need to start with the older one uh, a lot of you ask about the winch is the cf moto winch that comes from the factory any good yes this one still works it pulls uh it pulls a bunch of different machines out um at the parts uh, even when we've gotten stuck with this unit it will pull itself out this is the still the same uh wire rope this is not synthetic same wire rope you can see we do have a little bit of uh, rust here but now i will tell you this this particular machine this seaforce 500 was uh isn't stored inside a sealed building like a shop or garage this one has been kept uh, under a covered, uh, like a covered carport, or, or if you will, uh, or a lean-to shed. I can't remember where Nicholas has been storing it. But uh, look, the plastics still look great. Now this is dark. my camera. I'm having to turn the brightness up. It's pretty dark out here right now. The sun has done set here in Mississippi. But the plastics still look good. The seat cover, the 2018. Uh, still holding up there is a couple of places where uh, like right here the the paint is chipped but that was i can't remember what happened nicholas was leaning over to get something and i think his belt buckle or something dug in right there but overall the thing looks great i personally went through this machine uh, last week and did a full service on it front diff rear diff the fluid all looked good the rear diff, there was a little bit of uh, uh, metal flake buildup on the drain bolt, uh, but that's to be expected. I mean, he, he that was its first change. It should have been changed a little bit earlier, but to be honest, wasn't that bad a shape. So he has not broken a single axle. He has not had any problems with this Seaforce 500. Um, no, the wheel bearings are all tight. The tie rods, the A-arms, everything has held up well. Um, even with these 30-inch Zillas, which you know the Zillas, they're lightweight. Uh, this one doesn't have a whole bunch of miles on it for its age. But it's been stored outside 
and it still looks this good and still drives great as you're going to get to see this weekend well, well we'll be filming this weekend but i'm really hoping to see this single cylinder 500 do some good uh work in the bounty hole race uh because you've seen me run the if you haven't seen me run the c-force 800 and win some mud race events last year go check that out on the channel but anyways i can't wait to run this thing it still drives great feels good feels strong fun to ride there's no uh slack and any like the front a-arm bushings and all that everything feels good uh this is still the original belt as well uh this is the stock cvt belt on the c-force 500 remember it's 2018 model um uh, i will say there is a little bit of i i really you you feel it when you drive but i feel like there's a little bit of slack in the steering column uh, but that's what, I mean, that's what you're going to get when you have a, a 2018 mud riding. You get sand everywhere, you get grit, mud, and you got big tires. Of course, something's going to wear out a little bit, right? And uh, But I believe this joker has held up well, and it's got a lot of life left in it, a ton of life. It still cleans up like new. 2020 model, C-Force 500. Uh, this one uh, stock tires everything stock except for the clutch. We we did reclock the secondary I can't remember I, I'm pretty sure we did a clutch kit from Main Street Cycle. I, I can't remember but this is one of my best friends as well This is his uh, this is uh, his C-Force 500 that he bought at Main Street Cycle and it's still running strong and uh, They're gonna be running this machine Cody and Aubrey they just got married, by the way, uh, but they're on their honeymoon, but they're going to come back. They're going to be hopping on this C-Force 500 and riding two up. A lot of you ask about riding, you know, two people on a single seat. Like this is made and designed for two people. But yes, you, you can ride two people on a single seater. No, it is not lawful or recommended, but it works. So we've been doing it for years before they came out with two seaters. So anyways uh this one has had no issues except for a, that evap issue that the 2020 c force 500s had it was having that vapor lock issue they did the evap delete at the dealership and it's been working great ever since i did forget that this one had a voltage regulator go out on it and i think uh some faulty wiring on a install that actually I, I did it <laughs> uh, i don't know i didn't wire anything up wrong i mean positive goes to positive negative goes to negative right but uh we wired up a led some led pods i i, I don't know if it's just a coincidence or what the the lights worked fine but uh he left with it and uh, not too long later the voltage regulator had went out it, it wouldn't hold the charge right so we changed it out and just out of just to be careful we went ahead and removed the volt uh, the LED pods so I don't know if it was something weird or funky going on with that or if it was just a coincidence that the voltage regulator went out that's the only thing that's went out on it uh, that I'm, I can think of off the top of my head this one, uh, EVAP issues, other than that, it's been great, but it is a 2020 model, not a whole bunch of miles or hours. This one, you've pretty much seen every time this thing has been ran. So if you skim through the channel videos and you wanna watch a 2021 C-Force 800 in action, uh, that's that. You, every time this thing has been cranked up and ran, near about is on film on the channel. So absolutely no issues with it. It's great, uh, strong machine, no clutch kit, no nothing. All, only thing that's different on this machine is the tires themselves. Uh, that's 28 inch STI Roctane, so it's doing good. Uh, you've been watching the U-Force 1000 if you've been following the channel. I've had no issues with it. It's strong, I've actually, it's, it's pretty dusty. It's getting real dark out here now. Hey, say hey. That's my oldest girl. She's six years old. Love her to death. My other one is somewhere in the house. But uh, I've been using uh, this bed a lot. 
around the church, around the house, at the campground where we've been working at lately. And dude, this thing is awesome. I, I'm really getting attached to this thing. I know I'm supposed to be selling it after I finish building it. And uh, uh, I haven't put no, it hadn't been to ATV park yet, but that will change this weekend. But it is a solid unit. I love this thing. It is decked out with all kinds of good stuff and we have more stuff to come for it. But uh, anyways, I have ran my mouth a lot. Um, I'm just uh, wanting to post this because there's still people who are skeptical about CF Moto and um, because of re reliability concerns. And uh, just to show you, that's a 2018 model. Hopefully we're going to win a bounty race. I know I'll be going up against some 1,000 big bore V-twin ATVs. And uh, we're going to see what the little single cylinder 500 will do. So be looking for that. And we're going to make a lot of awesome content on all these units this weekend. Joel and David and Jaden and uh, my buddy Tyler with the C-Force 600 he's also another one of my best friends i've known him for many years he's supposed to be there uh with his 2020 model c4 600 the silver one so it'll be in the videos i'm trying to think who else i don't know we're going to have pretty much all the units represented joel and his c4 500 we're hoping our 950s get in on the truck uh, we're still waiting on the cf moto truck to come with with those so anyways um i just got home from where you see it's pitch dark out here almost now uh but i'm gonna go play with these girls and um go in and eat some supper uh look I, i'm uh i don't do this for a living um i i youtube and uh have a good time making videos and creating content it's something that me and my family enjoyed to do, the off-roading part. Let me try to get to some light where you can see my ugly face. Uh, but uh, I, I, I'm a pastor, if you didn't know. I pastor a church of great families, great community. And so I'm, I have other obligations. Um, the church comes first. Jesus Christ comes first. Uh, always will in my life. Uh, riding and stuff like that that's just a fun thing i get to do in fellowship with people and um so uh i'm thankful for my relationship with main street cycle and i think they're the greatest uh, dealership in the country uh and obviously they are they're number one the number one cf moto dealership in the nation i'm thankful for my relationship with them great people to work with um and uh thankful for all of you all the viewers, subscribers, thank y'all so much. My patrons, especially, who have been patrons for a long time, uh, thank y'all for your support, uh, supporting me and my family. And uh, like I said, I was super thankful for y'all, excited for this year, this season, and uh, what we're really about to start hitting the parks, riding, having a good time, and uh, we're going to show what CF Moto is all about this year once again. We won mud races. We did a lot of things in the mud riding arena in the Mississippi, Tennessee, and Alabama area, even Louisiana, just kind of uh, trying to make the uh, influence grow. And um, this year, I don't have you know all my mud units, so we're going to show off more of the uh, trail riding, uh, rock crawling capabilities. Um, but we are in Mississippi, so it's going to be hard to avoid mud. But there's my princess. <laughs> uh oh. You hear the cops? I'm sorry. Anyways, got some action. <laughs> uh, hopefully, everything's okay. But, anyways, um, I'm going to get off of here. Uh, I don't. I don't try to get too personal in my videos, but I am thankful for y'all. We have, what baby? You got something on your hand? Uh-oh. <laughs> right, I'm sorry, I gotta end this video. I, I wanna go spend some time with them and my wife. I'm thankful for my kids and my wife. I'm glad they love doing this off-road stuff. They love to ride. 
uh, more than anything. Uh, they love riding uh, the four wheelers, side by sides. It's a great family thing. And uh, that's what I want it to be. I want it to keep being a family fun fellowship with friends and family and uh, meeting people out at the parks, helping each other get unstuck and just talking and having a good time and enjoying the outdoors. That's what it's about, right? So uh, I have some merchandise. I have some t-shirts. If any of you are interested, I have some specific to the Sea Force. Uh, it talks about a Sea Force on the back of it. I got some that talk about a Z Force. Uh, just different options, front and back. If you go to the merch store down in the description, um, that it got all kinds of things for the kids. I uh, got some onesies made for the babies, uh, leggings and women's clothing. If, if if your wife may want something, or maybe you you guys may want to buy something and can't buy something for you if you don't buy something for your wife, right? So you have some options. So anyways, uh, God bless y'all. I'm going to get off of here. As always, remember to keep it real. We'll see you in the next one.